here we are going to take advantage of that this is the definite integral so maybe we can do some symmetry that kind of business let me show you I will do a substitution have a look I will do the following mm. you can write this down either way I will put this down I'm going to say let x equal to 1 over u in another word u is equal to 1 over x same thing seriously and then of course dx will be negative 1 over u squared du right and it's pretty nice this is the same thing all right be careful x going from 0 to infinity technically this is 0 plus put it here 1 over 0 plus is infinity so in the u world you start with you start at infinity infinity to here u is equal to 0 it's kind of like in the wrong water huh? all right and then we have ln x is 1 over u over 1 is 1 x squared of course you square both sides but I will write it down like this 1 over u and then square lastly dx is that negative 1 over u square du now I'm going to use this negative to help me switch the order of integration so I'm going to have the integral going from 0 to infinity thanks to this negative sign and then I will distribute this u square so we have u square on the bottom and then plus 1 on the top I can write this as negative ln u in the u world have a look ladies and gentlemen this is equal to that this is equal to its negative version that's kind of cool so what this is saying is that the integral going from 0 to infinity ln x over of course 1 plus x squared dx this right here is equal to even though I put on u right here but it's just a so-called dummy variable it doesn't matter you can put on t you can put on x again I know this is the part that a lot of people um, maybe don't even want to accept but what I can do for you guys is that you can even write this down like this integral ln t over 1 plus t squared dt yeah I just put x to be t this right here I can also put u to be t so this right here is negative integral ln t over 1 plus t squared yeah anyway what I'm going to do is, instead of the u, I'm going to just write it as the integral going from 0 to infinity. We have this negative, and then ln, I will put the x back, and then 1 plus x squared dx. Again, it's not because I'm saying, it's not because I put a 1 over x in here. It's just that I will just say u is a the so-called dummy variable so we can rewrite this write this with x it's okay so just ignore all that ignore all that put x for all this and then we get that anyway check this out this integral is equal to is equal to negative itself you can add this on both sides to integral 0 to infinity ln x over 1 plus x squared dx you get 0 divide 2 on both sides <laughs> integral going from 0 to infinity ln x over 1 plus x squared dx equals 0 and then we are done